Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's July 24th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Dan Bingham, David Young from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Gentlemen, uh, thank you for being here with us this week. Uh, Dan, more of the same, uh, another uh, slight downtick in Muni yields this week. Uh, what kind of market activity did you observe? Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, continuation of the trend. Uh, today we had intraday lows in parts of the Treasury curve. Uh, 10-year Treasury is currently at 58 basis points. The 30-year Treasury currently at 123. Um, and uh, as you say, uh, more the same. Um, you know, the thing that is a little surprising in here is that um, while the Treasury curve is hitting uh, all-time lows, or touching pretty close to all-time lows, uh, in different parts of the curve. Uh, we are doing that in the face of some rising inflation expectations as the market prices in some uh, higher inflation on the out years. Um, but with the Fed continuing to buy aggressively in here, um, it's just uh, not offsetting any kind of, or presenting any kind of weakness within the Treasury market. And in the muni market specifically, we still, this week anyway, still saw significant new supply, um, but uh, inflows from investors were up a little bit. Uh, how's the supply demand balance working out? Yeah, I'd say that the reaction in the municipal market is very uh, similar to the treasury market, very different underlying trends to it, um, but we are seeing very heavy issuance. Part of that, or uh, a, good, a good portion of that, as much as a third, has been in the taxable municipal sectors issuers look at the favorable um, use of proceeds that they can have on taxable issuance along with the advanced refunding option that they can still use for uh, issuing taxable municipals. So issuance has been very high at 15 billion uh, two weeks ago. This week we've had uh, close to 10 billion or just over 10 billion of issuance, but a portion of that is in the taxable side. I mean, we continue to see very good flows um, into the uh, municipal mutual funds with 2.1 billion inflows this week. So as investors continue to diversify out of other asset classes and out of the equity markets to some degree, um, we're seeing very good consistent flows into the municipal market. And with that, we're seeing um, record lows in municipal yield, yields uh, or very close to that. MMD, 10-year uh, MMD currently at 71 basis points and 30-year MMD at 143. So, you know, very consistent um, uh, market performance, but different underlying reasons versus the treasury market. And sure, and the other thing we're seeing is continued uh, investor discernment and uh, differentiation among credits, which I think is a good segue into you, David. Um, in the new issue market, as Dan said, it was a big week and it was also a big week for BAM. How much uh, new issue activity uh, did BAM report? Yeah, so thanks, Mike. Uh, just to elaborate uh, a little bit um, on what Dan touched on, um, we saw about uh, 10 billion in new issue supply this week. That was up about half a billion um, on estimates. Um, of that, it was an 80-20 split negotiated to competitive and a 60-40 split tax exempt to taxable. So kind of as Dan mentioned, we continue to see um, kind of a large supply of taxable issuance. Um, BAM had a really good week. Um, we insured $500 million in par across 43 different transactions. Um, $300 million of that was negotiated, and uh, about $200 million of that was competitive. Can you highlight some of the large transactions that BAM was involved in this week? Yeah, a few uh, noteworthy deals um, that are worth mentioning is the $73 million Spanish Fork Sewer Utah deal. That was an A-plus underlying rated. Um, and R.W. Bear bought that deal in the competitive space. Uh, another deal is a $41 million Jefferson Union High School District COP in California. Um, RBC priced that deal. Um, there was a Oyster Bay $53 million deal um, priced by Oppenheimer, and BAM actually insured $39 million of that. And lastly, there was a $35 million Madera County PFA California deal, and that was priced by BAML. And the Spanish Fork and Jefferson Union uh, High School District transactions both have some interesting characteristics that we looked at in uh, Credit Insights videos over the last couple of weeks, and you can view them on BAM's uh, uh, YouTube page. Uh, Spanish Fork was a Green Star bond uh, for a new wastewater treatment plant. That was a situation where the underwrite, where the issuer purchased the insurance in advance of the competitive deal, which is a little unusual in the marketplace, but uh, certainly something that happens uh, with some regularity and with the Green Star uh, 
endorsement and verification that made sense for the issuer. And then Jefferson Union uh, High School District is a transaction uh, for workforce housing. Uh, Jefferson Union High School District's on the uh, peninsula just south of San Francisco. Workforce housing is important in that uh, expensive real estate market. So both of those transactions are highlighted in videos uh, worth a look. So David, uh, let's take a look about next week. As Dan mentioned, the, uh, the supply situation is lightening up somewhat. What, uh, what are you watching on the calendar? Yeah, so we're kind of seeing more of the same here, uh, relatively light week um, with just seven and a half billion scheduled to price. Um, 1.1 billion of that is yet another DFW um, <laughs> deal. Uh, so, you know, um, a relatively light week, a uh, light week for BAM as well. We're only seeing about 50 to $100 million of par scheduled to sell next week. Um, and then, you know, more of the same in the competitive market, which is light. Um, you know, we're looking at around 20 deals for 200 million of par. Well, guys, thanks for uh, joining us this week. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of market volatility and illiquidity, BAM-insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable AA rating from S&P. BAM's insurance protects against everything that causes a default, including natural disasters, financial fraud, pension issues, and economic disruption. So while America rebuilds, BAM has you covered. BAM. Build America Mutual. Talk to your investment advisor or visit buildamerica.com.